All right, I have a 2003 early 04, no start when hot, with low injection pressure when it gets hot. It builds up to about 350. If it's never been worked on, most likely it's the high pressure pump that's only on the 03, 04 round pump style. They do get weak. The 05, it's 05 and up, it's really rare that they the pumps fail on those. But to check it out properly, you would need to take a sensor here. You can get them at freedomracing.com. And, well, not sensor, I'm sorry, the adapter to inject air in it. So we take this adapter here and we'll screw it into the oil rails on, the, um, on each side and inject it and look for leaks. To check these on the oil rail, you have a four millimeter Allen right here on top. There's one on each side. We're going to remove the cap screw here and insert the adapter so we can inject air straight into the oil rail and we can listen for leaks. But they have one on each side, so we'll go ahead and remove that and hook the air hose up and check it. Okay, I did run the engine and got it warmed up to about as hot as I can take it and still work on it. That way it's going to, with everything expanded and thinned out, I have a better chance of finding the leak. So I have the adapter screwed there into the oil rail and we just plug the air fitting into it and listen and see what happens. So we'll wait and see if an air leak shows up. If nothing shows up in a few minutes, then pretty much we don't have a leak. Right now, while it's hot, I'm injecting air in the driver's side, and it seems pretty good. I mean, we got air going in there, and it seems pretty good. So we don't have any leak. We'll be going after the pump now. We got the pump out of the back there and found out you have a bad o-ring right here and somebody stripped one of the bolts up here this side right here the bolts stripped so I can either patch it with a helicoil or replace it so yeah I'm gonna put a helicoil in here and helicoils are actually stronger in aluminum the reason being you get more of a surface area you figure how much that screw actually holds around this pump but when you get a helicoil it's actually a larger area around it and helicoils in aluminum stronger than just tapping aluminum so I'm gonna go ahead and tap this pump out and put it back together and then go and see what we have from there and something I want to say too make sure on the 03 the 04 that you have this stopper in here it's like a ball bearing here on the side of the pump it's pressed in there Sometimes after the vehicle's gotten hot, it'll expand and this bearing will come out. So make sure this isn't missing. And also make sure that the seal down inside here is not, uh, that it has not failed. So look for that. I always replace the tube here. Just, it's just, you know, it's a little expensive, but it's cheap insurance. Go ahead and replace it. And also make sure that the black O-ring was up here and the yellow one was on the bottom towards the block. I'll see people put the yellow O-ring in up here and they'll burn and fail. So the yellow goes into the block underneath the pump and make sure all these O-rings are good. Here we go with the helicoil installed. Now we should be able to torque this down and hopefully prevent the O-rings from failing again. It's hot, you can see there on the gauge. It starts right up. 